modification of the Furry BF36. Uh, as you see here, I've already modified the controller, um, put these longer sticks on it, ordered those offline. They're now advertised. I think they might be advertised for the EO10, but you know, whatever. Uh, disregard the washing machine in the back going crazy. You guys know how it is. So, um, what we're going to do is add an FPV camera. Try to do a little bit of whooping. Bit of whooping. Everybody's been recommending this furry bee um, to do whooping with stock batteries, stock motors. I guess it's lighter. The frame definitely feels a lot more flimsy to me, but you know, um, it's what you sacrifice for that weight gain. So, I'm not sure if we're going to do the two prop mod or not. I may uh, mod a set and leave a set. We'll see. So, here's your standard furry bee. Um, the, uh, this whole thing feels like it's some sort of injection molded plastic or something. So it's a whole lot lighter. I think that's why it's lighter. Um, so what we're going to do is get our soldering iron and if you look Right here, this is where the battery passed through. Uh, basically, this connector is soldered to the board, obviously, and you've got a B plus, B minus. What I've decided to do is instead of just solder this camera directly, I mean, I know I'm going to be switching this camera back and forth between a few different things, so I grabbed a, uh, I don't know if this is male or female, honestly, because it has the Plugs, but I guess we're going to call it a female. Hopefully you guys can see that. And um, we're just going to clip this off of this charger here, parallel port, because honestly I'll be using this side anyway. So we'll clip this, uh, solder it directly to the camera leads, we'll clip this, solder it directly to the board, and then that should not only give us uh, the ability to take our camera on and off, but it should give us a little bit of strain relief too, I would hope, so um, let's get started, so modify the camera first, um, oh, my cat wants to say hello, he's healthy kitty, let's go, so what we got is the, um, I guess it's the VM275T from uh, Banggood, with some 3M, or not 3M, but double foamy, no it is 3M, uh, foamy tape, a couple rubber bands, got a cool little foam block mount, and of course the meat and potatoes, it's going to be the camera, and this camera is small, uh, I didn't expect it to be this small actually. And I've even contemplated trying to uh, decase or DVTX it, so to speak, and get it down here, maybe in front of the battery. But for right now, we're just going to stick it right on the top. So let's take this, make sure we get enough to work with, and shorten the camera side too if we need to. Side. I think the stripper will probably get this, so hopefully. Yeah. There's lots of different ways to connect these wires. Um, first and foremost, don't forget your shrink. So. So 
couple little pieces. Was it 6337 leaded solder? Now we're waiting on the iron to heat up. Let's take a drink of beer. First thing we're just going to do is pin our wires. Um, and be real gentle. The silicone, so uh, pretty sure it shouldn't melt too easily, but. and temperature guys so definitely want a tin tip um, take your iron put a little bit of solder on it apply the heat give it like a one or two count and in a way sure guys what the uh, what this method I'm going to show you how to do is but what's called but it works really good for these little wires so if you can see it but you take your your small wire and you just bend a hook in it like so so you just end up with uh, just a couple of hooks hopefully you guys can see that it's a brand new action cam I'm using so I don't know how that turning out for you guys but hopefully it's okay we just take grab it while I got literally almost at the very end and just hook grab it and hook just like that then basically want to interlock the hooks so like that and while you've got it interlocked and just squeeze one of them down your goal is obviously to uh, you want to make the kind of connection that one all you got to do is heat it up and two um, it's going to be small enough for your really small shrink to go over our iron up again. Always make sure when you're working with this little tiny shrink you want to make sure that it's way down the wire because um, any heat it comes into contact with it's going to want to scooch up. So That's a technical term, scooch. this I mean you can solder right to the board I'm just planning on reusing this camera on a few different projects so I thought it'd be smart for me to go ahead and you know make it so I can just unclip it yes it adds more weight but I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world if it is you know what I'll just take it off and solder it right to it Okay. 
Okay. And it literally just takes barely any heat to get these little tiny connections. So this was plugged in. This is going to be our positive. This is going to be our negative. And I always just double check, yeah, positive, negative. Okay. So, we don't need much on this guy. I'm thinking like something like this. Basically just enough so that I can strip some wire off of it. And the wire strip also doesn't need to be much. A little tiny bit. I'm left-handed, so, you know, maybe a little backwards, but whatever. do is not perfect but you know not terrible either pretty decent solder joint so so cut it down the center thought about it, you know, putting this thing on here actually, um, which we could do since we're wired in that pigtail, um, but, you know, it's more weight, but it's going to protect the electronics and give us a little bit of an angle. I think so again this is literally like my first video uh, doing this kind of thing so I don't know if it's helped anybody you guys maybe pass this but uh, hopefully somebody looking for that VM275 camera and uh, planning on putting it on a furry bee because anybody that's paying attention to RC groups obviously knows that furry bee is the best top, top to go with for this 
Um, you know, maybe this will help you guys out. And uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing some videos as far as setting it up, flying it, impressions, all that kind of stuff. And uh, we'll take it from there, guys. All right? Random FPV out. <laughs>